Hello guys. Um <laughs> Wow. Hello guys, Kinella Rata Poshoko and thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. So today I have another video, it's a self-empowerment video, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about something that is happening to me, and I'm very sure that it's happening to majority of the youth, actually majority of the people. So um before we get on to the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I wonder why you haven't subscribed because I told you it's gonna get lit. I told you we're gonna help each other. So please subscribe and Turn on the notification bell to know when I do post a video. So, um, I did say that I'm going to be doing my self-empowerment videos with someone else or featuring some other people. But today I want to do this alone. Mainly because it's something that I am basically tr uh, struggling with. And I'm challenging myself uh, to stop, basically to change. And I will be tracking my progress. And also, I want to turn back and say, I see it this. So I need to abide by it. And I can't be telling people to do certain things. Whereas I'm not even complying or abiding by them. Alright. So I have my Bible. I have my journal. So it's going to get lit. So I'm not basically preaching. But I'm just talking to you guys about something that is a danger to the youth. Basically a danger to anyone else. Everyone else. So I'm going to be talking about laziness. Well my topic basically is laziness does not pay laziness does not pay honey it don't pay but it feels good it feels good it don't pay though all right so for the past week i've been back on campus but i've been so lazy like i've been so lazy to attend my classes to get in productive to just get work done so i've been just lazy but then I have decided that laziness is something of the past. I'm not entertaining it no more because that is a spirit of which the devil is trying to use to get to me. Since he's not destroying me, since he cannot destroy me, he's trying to distract me and he's distracting me with laziness. So is he doing with you? Since he cannot destroy you, he's distracting you. So beware of this thing called laziness. All right. So with laziness okay laziness is basically um knowing that you have to do something but you're not doing it not because you were busy with other things but because there's really you just don't do it no you're not busy you just don't do it you're just lazy you see so that is basically my definition of laziness i got so with laziness like we'd rather stay in bed go on social media play video games and just not get work done say i have school work but instead of working i'd rather stay in bed and sleep oh get on twitter get on instagram yo i've been enjoying twitter follow me on twitter and i think i'm enjoying it too much but anyway yeah so you'd rather go on social media and just not be productive so when i talk about laziness i'm not talking about taking time out because i believe that we deserve time out out of this busy world we deserve time for ourselves and time to recuperate hmm. Hmm. i'm impressed time to get refreshed time to yeah you know so that's not what i'm talking about i'm just talking about pure laziness pure laziness whereas you just I'll do it. Procrastination, actually. Procrastination, laziness. Those two, they best friends, I'm telling you. Husband and wife, I'm telling you. So, we're gonna try to stay away from that because that's a spirit that we don't want in us because it ain't good. It ain't good. All right. So, as I said, or the devil knows that he cannot destroy you. Therefore, he's trying to distract you and he's distracting you with what? With laziness. So, we're not... We're not doing things that we're supposed to be doing. Take, like, for an example, you set a time aside. You say, you know what? I'm going to read the word of God. You know that time you're saying I'm opening the Bible. It's lit on Twitter. It's lit on Instagram. Good, hey. You know? So, that's part of my laziness. Like, you know you have to get up, 
put in effort, but you're not doing it because you'd rather stay in bed, do nothing, or stay on social media, do nothing, do video games, do nothing. You understand? So that's what I'm talking about. So I want us to read from the book of Proverbs. Ah! Proverbs 4 verses 10. Chapter 4. Yes, Proverbs chapter 4 verses 10. 4, 4. So, I'm going to be talking about Proverbs a lot because I think I have three scriptures from Proverbs. They talk about laziness. You know, Proverbs is a book in the Bible where it gives you wisdom. It gives you... It teaches you, basically. Life lessons. True, life lessons. So, I said... Proverbs 4 verses 10. It re uh, yeah, 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 no, this is not it. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's try 14. Guys, I'm messing up. 14, 10. No, 24. Guys, no. Uh, uh. Guys, I'll just write it down on the notifications below. Name? Oh, what am I saying? I'll write it down on the screen, not on the notifications below. Oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> but it reads, I wrote it down. Erin, lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. They bring what? Wealth. Now, there's a difference between wealth and riches. I get it. With wealth, with wealth, you know how to get riches. You have the knowledge to have riches and you have them already. You understand? With riches, riches is, you just have riches, but you don't know how to get them. Maybe you won the lottery. That is riches. Understand? But with, um, what am I talking about? With wealth, you know how to get the riches and you have the riches. So you just, like, you were equipped. Even though they go away, you know what I, I can work my way to get those riches again. Yandiv. So, basically, God will, be, what this is saying, God will equip you, not only with riches, but with the knowledge to get the riches if you work diligently, if you are not lazy, if you don't stay in bed and do nothing. All right. It says that laziness bears poverty. This is basically like spiritually, physically, academically, etc. Laziness bears poverty. If you are lazy physically, you are lazy physically. No. Okay, let's not try physically because I'm thinking about a lot of things. But if you're lazy, let's say you're lazy academically. Ne? You don't study, you don't put in the work, you're writing your exam tomorrow, your test tomorrow, but you're not putting in the work. Listen, you're going to fail. Where am I now? I post my journal. Oh no. Oh no. No. Guys, I know I'm just so extra. Julina. Yeah. As I was saying, Hore, if you don't put in the work, then you're going to be poor. Whatever it is that you're not putting the work into is going to result in poor results. I get it. So, if you're not putting your work into your academics, then you cannot expect distinctions. You just know what you're going to fail. All right. So that's basically what it says. Laziness based poverty. So you're going to have poor academics, poor physical life, poor spiritual life. If you don't read your Bible, if you don't pray, you don't have a relationship with God, then your spiritual life is going to be poor. You're going to be depressed. Oh no, I'm sorry for saying that because a lot of people, um, depression is a sensitive issue and I don't want to see me as if I'm, I'm a better person or anything. Can I just check if this thing is still recording? Oh, it is. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, or with poverty, uh, with depression, it's a sensitive issue. And 
I don't want to seem as if I'm a better person or what. But maybe it's a subject that we'll talk about. I really want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk, up, talk about it alone. Yes, but you're going to be down. You're not going to be well in your spirit. So basically, there's going to be a lot that's going on around you. And you're not just going to be spiritually well. You're going to feel overwhelmed, you see. So... Basically, you just need to put in effort, be diligent, and God will help you, will equip you with wealth and the wealth. The knowledge of the wealth and the wealth. You understand? So, this is something that, it, okay, it's a principle. It's a principle. You know what I, when I do this, these are the results. And obviously, with God in the middle of it all. All right. Okay, I want us to also read Proverbs 21, 25. Hopefully I have this one right. Because 21, 25. Proverbs chapter 21, verses 25. Yeah, okay, I have this one right. All right. The cravings of a sluggard will be the death of him because his hands refuse to work. The cravings of a sluggard will be the death of him the death of him because his hands refuse to work a sluggard is basically a lazy person that's the definition of a sluggard the cravings of a sluggard is staying in bed sleeping all the time not working not putting effort just being ugh. yeah those are the cravings of a sluggard but the bible says that will be the death of him because he doesn't want to put in work. Where you don't put work, don't expect results. Remember that. Don't expect results where you don't put in the work. So since you're not putting in effort, it's going to be death. All right? No effort means death. So put in the work. Put in the work, do what is right and expect results from God. Sure, guys this thing cut me off but let's continue so as i was saying Jorge, um death will be a result of a sluggard yes i got so what i did say is that um okay let's just start well i read from proverbs 21 25 I said, it says, the, the cravings of a sluggard will be the death of him because his hands refuse to work. I get it. And then I mentioned the cravings of a sluggard. I mentioned what a sluggard is. And then, okay, here. Yeah, now I know where I am. Now, with all these cravings of a sluggard, I get it. Those cravings result um, the death of a sluggard because... If you're not putting in work, it means there is no life there. There is no light there. So meaning, worry, there is death. I can. Your marks will die. Because laziness brings death. Not putting any academic effort, your marks die. So your marks will die. Your projects will stop. Your businesses will stop. Because you are not putting in work. You cannot expect success. You cannot expect any good results when you're not putting in the work. But one thing that you will be rich in, you will be rich in sleep. I get it. Because you love it. And it's something that a lazy person just do, do does. Yeah. It's something that lazy people do. Because say... um. I'm playing video games. I get tired. I sleep. My mind is tired. I'm going to sleep. Social media. I sleep. I eat. I eat, sleep. And be lazy, basically. Right? Do something that's not productive. So, but you know what the Bible says about sleep? From Proverbs 20, verses 13, it says, Do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. Sleep brings poverty sleep not resting there is resting whereas you spend the whole day doing work 
being productive, going busy and all. And you're coming home to rest. That's resting. And then they're sleeping. As through day in, day out, you are social media, nothing tires you. You just sleep. You just not like you just sleep. So that is sleep. We're saying sleep brings poverty. And then when we read from um, Proverbs, okay, that one that I don't know about, it says that laziness brings poverty. So, meaning sleep brings poverty, laziness brings poverty. Sleeping is laziness and therefore results in poverty. Sleeping, not resting. Sleeping is laziness and brings in poverty. So that is something that we need to let go of because it is not worth it. Our lives are meant to be great. All right. I mean, oh, why do I keep doing this? Our lives are meant to be great. We are meant to be great. We are meant to achieve a lot. And we cannot do that if we, like, laziness has a hold over us. So my ways of overcoming laziness is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning. Don't grab your phone for Twitter. Don't. Maybe you can grab your phone for the Bible, but don't grab it for social media or whatever. Just make sure it's either you read the Bible when you do grab your phone. But what I do in the morning, first thing I do is I pray. I thank God for the night. I thank God for the day that is about to start. I thank God for everything that I have. I'm grateful because you know what? Gratitude is a magnet for blessings. We know that by now. So, miracles, blessings, either way. So, I have my morning prayer and you ask God for a productive day. Basically, when you put God in the middle of things, you cannot go wrong because he has it under control. You ask him, oh God, I want to have a productive day. I want this day to be blessed. I want this day to be fruitful. And he's going to make it fruitful to you. And then, secondly, you affirm yourself. Because what you say does come to part. There is power in the tongue. I don't know if I spoke to you about this, but yeah. It's either I spoke about it or I'm planning to speak about it because I remember I did journal it down. There is power in the tongue. The things that you say, they come to pass. So we need to affirm ourselves, tell ourselves we are beautiful, we are great, we are successful. You can't say you're successful and stay in bed. No, you are successful and tell yourself, I'm going to put in the work today. I'm going to be productive. So you're basically affirming yourself. All right. And then another thing that we need to learn to do is plan our day. For example, if you're a student, you just know that you have to go to classes and come back. And then, okay, no, but we will be studying and all. Okay, so by planning your day, I mean... Correct. You write the things that you need to do for that day. I have a calendar on my phone and I believe that everyone has a calendar. And on my calendar, for different times, I, okay, I know in, for Tuesday's morning, let's say, for example, I don't have um, classes in the morning. I only have classes in the afternoon. So what I do, the time in the morning, I try to, okay, as you know, I'm looking for sponsorships for my trip to Bali. A W M U N. So I know I send emails, I call people, I plan content for YouTube, I basically work, try to put in the work. All right. So that's what I do on Tuesday mornings. Mondays I have classes in the morning, that's why I don't do it then. Then later on I go to class. Then I know when I come back, if it is I have a study period, which is between seven i mean eight and nine and then from there i can do whatever that i want and even between like in the during the day i'm gonna have breaks i'm like it's not all work it's not all work but then plan your day plan your times time management is very important so that you can get away like get this laziness away from you and you get your work done so what i'm saying is laziness has no chance on you this is the start of a new week Challenge yourself, or you know what, I'm going to be greater this week. Challenge yourself to do greater things, to be productive, to make a change not only in your life, but to other people's lives. So, yes. So, follow me on Twitter. As I told you, I'm <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Like, I need followers. Like, I need followers 
follow me on twitter follow me on instagram Lerato underscore poshoko and subscribe to my youtube channel please i am begging you please subscribe i have greater aims but i know god has it all under control but yes, please subscribe, uh, like this video so that my many people can get to the video and watch it. As I told you, when you like my videos, um, it gets much more spread to other YouTube viewers so they get to watch. And then they will subscribe and we will grow. You get it? Yeah. So, yeah. So, like, comment, engage with me, guys. You know, the way I love communicating with you guys is like on Instagram. I want to do it on YouTube as well. So if you have anything that is relating to to, to this topic, tell me what you think of it. Tell me how are you tackling it. Tell me what the devil is trying to do to get to you. And we will talk about that. We will try to motivate you.